I'm telling you, number 250. Oh, this is, um, what is that shit? This was the, this was like that, that DLC for Infamous, wasn't it? What was it? Infamous? I want to say Hard Light, but Hard Light's a gun in Destiny. <laughs> oh, man, even that, now I can't even get fucking Destiny out of my head, man. First Light, right? First Light? I think it was first life. But anyway, Pit Fight Commentary number 253, we're actually fucking up the whole schedule, and this time, this whole week, we're going to be doing the winners of the Prestige Gamers YouTube challenge that we had on Destiny 3. We, what the fuck? How fucking far away did this motherfucker just travel? Damn, this chick just like completely went across town in her pink ass lightning bolt. But anyway, man, for, for this Pit Fight Commentary in all week, Song Wan sent in this video, and all week long, we're going to be doing the winners of the, the speed run challenge, which happened to be the, the YouTube team in this joint. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But obviously, the whole point of the, the stipulation was that anybody could send in the video. The, the winners could send in any 10-minute video, so obviously, this is what uh, Sam Wan chose. And, and I, I know that this game exists, and, I, and I, I'm not quite sure how the hell this DLC works, because you have a brand new character, don't you? It just seems like... I, I know Sucker Punch must know what the fuck they're doing, but it just seems like from day one, all they wanted to do was get rid of that coal motherfucker. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like that? Because when you think about it, back in the, the original Infamous, he had a whole look and did whatever. What the fuck? She's now in a pink ass bubble. I don't know what the fuck. And she hit a cop. Oh, she's going to be shit trouble now. <laughs> no, but anyway, I know in the first one they had a... What the fuck? Is there any game? Two years earlier. Oh, come on, man. Don't tell me you just sent me a whole fucking cut scene in this motherfucker. It's got to be some kind of game. What the fuck? Look at this douchebag. Looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. Whatever the fuck that guy is. Gyllenhaal? Gyllenhaal? Whatever the fuck? Ah, whatever. I don't even give a shit. Now, but anyway, getting back into this shit. You know, the whole the whole stipulation I had was everybody had to send in a 10-minute video, and it could have been pretty much anything. Didn't matter what it had to be. Could have been a repeat. Could have been anything that you wanted. So it was a 10-minute time limit video, and that was the only stipulation. So what I should have said was send in some fucking gameplay, and not just cussing. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. With two minutes in, and all I saw you do was, was lightning her, her ass across town in this fucking... Uh, whatever, man. But anyway, wanted to get into the whole challenge and shit like that. For those who watched on the live stream, you guys saw who won. The, the final results of it was the Prestige Gamers team went first, and they finished in a, in one hour and 20-something minutes. I think it was 21 minutes. And then the YouTube team went after that, and they finished in one hour and one minute. Now, the Prestige Gamers team... Now, I don't want to say they were making up excuses, but... There's a reason why they were so far behind on this motherfucker. Now, now, you have to also admit, when you go first in something, and something's a timed run, you can see who ahead of you finished that, what the fuck? So this dude came to either get some ass, a booty call, break up with her, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and now she's glowing pink. He's like, yeah, something wrong with this chick. And I saw the, the sky needle in the background, so I assume this takes place in Seattle also in this motherfucker, man. He gonna look at her ass, she just like went electric, and he's looking at her ass. Oh man, this douchebag's gonna get killed. And it's three fucking minutes into this motherfucker, I still haven't seen any goddamn gameplay. No, but anyway, when, when you do a speedrun challenge like that, you obviously have an inherent advantage if you go second. The people that go second got to see exactly, what the fuck? Nobody notices her? Nobody notices, like, this pink flash running by the... I don't know what the fuck is going on. This is just some weird shit. But anyway, so, so the YouTube team, they obviously had the advantage of seeing what went wrong with the, the Prestige Gamers run. They got to see, you know, some of the strategy that the, the Prestige Gamers team used and how they were able to kill, you know, Atheon, Templar, Crota, and all that other shit. So, so they had the advantage. They had a much bigger advantage than the Prestige Gamers team. Now, the Prestige Gamers team pretty much showed... You know, the strategy. Obviously, Hatred has this strategy on how to get by the oracles. So, his whole thing was, I want to make sure that, that um, nobody steals my strategy. But, like, as long as Hatred's not here, it's fair game. <laughs> so, so they, basically, they had the advantage that they were able to, um, to, what the fuck? So, basically, she, what the living fuck is this? So, she, she's like a human firework up in this motherfucker. I, what the fuck? I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm sure people will tell me what the hell's going on because, you know, the, the, the reviews for this were pretty good. But I have no fucking idea what the hell this is supposed to be doing, man. But anyway, you know, Hatred picked up the, the strategy months ago when we were actually doing the, the hard modes and shit like that before people started doing the, the icebreaker routine at the top of the motherfucker. But anyway, they, they were able to watch it. They saw what happened. Our team died when we were doing that. A couple people died. So it pretty much slowed us down. But everything after that, the YouTube team was uh, is ranking up, whatever the hell. But anyway, the YouTube team was, was pretty much quicker at almost every possible position we almost held templar from uh teleporting they beat atheon in one teleport as opposed to two teleports the corona fight was pretty much on point the the teams both had uh, very quick runs but um the youtube team did it i think it was just two minutes quicker whatever the hell it was and the big difference between that was that the youtube team actually got to um 
And they rocketed all the shit after the, the Death Singer, whatever the fuck it was. But overall, the big time difference was during the uh, the Oracle and the, the Templar fight. That was the main thing. Everything else was pretty much on point. The times were on point and shit like that. So basically, you're just following Lumen Collected. I don't know. You're just following some floating balls. So you're a flying, flying lightning bolt and, and you had to catch a ball. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. This seems like it's its own damn game. I, am, am I not right? I mean, I don't know how much the shit cost. They said it was DLC or its own standalone, whatever the hell. And I, I just don't, I don't understand the whole point of this motherfucker. I guess I gotta, people gotta explain the whole infamous story to me again. Because, I mean, I remember the first one, you know, the dude was trying to, and these people are just gonna shoot. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, you, you're gonna fire at some chick that has lightning coming out of her hands. Yeah, that's not gonna work. No, but anyway, I remember the, the whole point of the first one was that, you know, he was trying to stop... Was it the first one? He was trying to stop some character from getting the power. I don't remember because that was part of the, the free PlayStation. Look at all these mother... What the fuck? This looks like Italian Mafia. They got all these badass jumpsuits. <laughs> oh, look at this motherfucker. Damn, she got some power. Did you see this kind of chick? You can't really piss off. Another dude was looking at and staring at her ass. Boy, he about to get fucked up. I don't know about you, but if I saw some chick do that, I'd be like, you know what? We breaking up. <laughs> I don't want to break your heart, nothing. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> right, really? I mean, would anybody want to date some girl like this that could just, like, you know, whip up some pink magic anytime she get pissed off? No, I don't want to fucking deal with that shit. Get the fuck out of here with that crap, man. I don't want no chick with superpowers unless I got superpowers. Unless her, she can give me some of her superpowers, no. That shit's not going to be fucking fair. She get pissed off at me one day and fire some pink lightning bolt at me. I'm fucked. I ain't got no defense for that shit. So fuck that, I ain't trying to piss off that chick, man. So th this dude, who like staring at her ass, oh boy, he got some fucking issues, man. Now, but look at these motherfuckers. Again, all this pink shit. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I, I guess you're just shooting the floor, and what the fuck, and I don't know what the hell it is. You know, one of the things that, that I, I just couldn't get adapted to, and I've said this plenty of times, was that when I played Infamous 2, they changed the orientation of how you shoot you know, over your shoulder. Obviously, I'm used to third-person shooters and shit like that. So there's a certain view that j you just naturally are used to. So all of a sudden, they, they change that shit. And, and why are they all dressed the damn same? Was that... So you just died? Something killed you? I don't know. What the fuck just happened? I mean, you know, the, the, did they have like a sale on those pants or some shit? <laughs> I don't get it. Look at They all look the damn same. What the fuck? Is it like some clones or some shit? You know, I know Seattle's a hippie town or some shit like that, but damn, I know they wear some different shit. They wear like grungy fucking clothes or whatever the fuck. But this chick is just fucking everybody up and they're not even looking at her. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But these are some stupid ass enemies. Yeah, this is some seriously stupid shit. I don't know what the fuck. And she just, ju look, look, that dude just standing there. She's hopping all around, moving her ass around. These people just standing there like, stop. No, she ain't gonna stop. Look, she gonna fucking black hole your ass. <laughs> she got some pink vortex and just fuck everybody up. And you're gonna tell me that you're gonna stand there with your hand up thinking that that's gonna stop her? Come on, man. I don't know. Protect Shane. So, is Shane in the truck? Why does Shane need to be protected? What stupid shit does Shane do? I, 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 I don't get it. He, he, he seemed like a douchebag and you're, you're protecting him. I don't know. I'll be like, fuck it. You're on your own, motherfucker. <laughs> Is he a brother or something? And I don't know, because he was checking your ass out. That was pretty nasty and, and, and fucking kind of, you know, like, uh, whatchamacallit, that, that, that's like incestuous and shit if that is your brother. I don't, I don't know. I give up, man. But anyway, like I was saying back in the Infamous, it just, it, it just seems like they, they really didn't like the Cole character and they wanted to give a, a brand new Cole character and then this came out the second son or whatever, so they said, okay, fine, they want a new character in Seattle or whatever the hell. But, but part two left off on that cliffhanger, didn't it? If I'm not mistaken, I didn't. I obviously didn't play the game, but I do think that the the ending left off on a cliffhanger where they really couldn't go anywhere after that. If you were good, you you died. If you were bad, you lived. And and if you were to start part three over, depending on how you start the game, you I don't know what the fuck they would do. I think Sucker Punch backed themselves into such a corner they didn't know what the fuck they needed to do, and that's what ended up happening in this bitch. So anyway, I, I, you completed a challenge. I don't know what the fuck challenge is completed, and now I got the police after you. Is that the police? It looks like the police. That guy, no, it's not the police. I don't know what the fuck that is. But you're firing pink lightning bolts at them, and they, they're still chasing you. <laughs> I saw pink light. Come on, man. You saw pink lightning bolts coming out of somebody. You ain't gonna chase them. You're gonna be like, get the fuck out of here. Whatever the fuck it is you want, go ahead. Take it. I ain't bothered with that bullshit, man. So I guess the whole point was to 
stand on this truck and, and get to safety or get to whatever the hell and I don't fucking know. Anyway, this video is coming to an end and shit like that. So anyway, this video comes to an end. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the um, Prestige Gamers YouTube channel, uh, YouTube speedrun challenge that we had during the week. It's particular, we got to talk about the rematch because the rematch is going to be coming up in the future. But anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next video.